if you've seen any of my uh, earlier videos, then you'll know that I am a type 1 diabetic and I'm on an um, insulin pump and my first video was rubbish and I was really young and I was quite sort of angsty about the whole thing. So <clears throat> um, I thought I'd do a video about hypos because if you're a diabetic like me, then you'll know that you get asked what a hypo is like and I can never explain. It's really difficult and I never know, really know what to say. So you can show this to your friends or your family or whatever, but your family will probably, you know, know your hypos more or your friends. My friends know my hypos quite a lot. Um, uh, if, yeah, if you've got a metre, then normally a hypo is classed as under four, um, like MMOs. Um, but it, it's, it, it fluctuates, like you can feel like shit if you're like 4.5. It doesn't really happen a lot to me, normally. It, I can be like 3.5 and be like having a fit, but then I can be like 1 and I don't feel low at all. It's really weird. So that's why you have to check all the time, because it can just really creep up on you. Um, my my dad has hypos a lot as well, and he was he's been diabetic for ages. So I've been around hypos since you know since I was little. So when I got diabetes, I wasn't thrown into the deep end. So I sort of knew quite a lot about it anyway. But my dad has really bad hypos on a bad day. Um, and it's not his fault, it's no one's fault, um, they just happen and it's all part of life's rich tapestry I suppose. Um, there can be ones where, I think the worst one I had when I was little was when I went to try and wake him up and he wouldn't wake up and then he sort, he sort of woke up and he didn't know who I was and he was like swearing at me. He wasn't aggressive or anything but he was just really, it's like... If I try and explain, it's like you're drunk, but it's 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 really not. That's just the closest that I can you know thing I can think of. Um, and then that even though I know it's not him, it really really upsets you. So you start crying, but that sort of works because if you cry in, then there's still a part of them that are there. They sort of you might sort of know what you're doing. So when they when he sees I'm crying. He sort of wakes up a little bit and he's like, oh, okay. And I'll have to drink whatever she's giving me. Like, I'll be trying to give him some sugar water. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed out the whole thing. If you're low, <laughs> you need to have sugar, basically. Um, so, and there was one time when I had to get up for work and my mum woke me up. And I got out of bed, put my trousers on. And that was the last thing I remember. And then my mum woke me up and I was on the sofa and I'd had a fit. And I don't remember it at all. Apparently, I looked like I was having some sort of exorcism. <laughs> my eyes were open, my hands were like clenched like this, and um, it was really, it was really weird. They had to inject me with a, like a, like a, sh it's like a, it's called a glucagon. It's just basically like a sugar injection, I think. And um, so yeah, I can't remember any of that. Um, sometimes, um, my hands will go like that if I'm like holding something, and it'll just flick, and I can't hold anything. Um, my legs will twitch, so I can't walk. I'll just look really tired. I'll probably, f I might fall asleep. Um, I don't know who you are. I don't know what I'm doing. I basically, it's like I'm drunk. Um, so yeah, high pace can really change, but there is a chance that I'm. It's. I don't think it's ever happened. I don't know when you're high. None of that happens, but it's just a, if you think that like a diabetic is low, it's probably best to check them anyway. And then if they're basically unconscious and they can't really you know drink any eat anything, try and give them something that's like liquid because then they can't choke on it. So if you're trying to give them sweets, they might choke on it. Um, and then obviously if you're on your own, then ring an ambulance. Um, and yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't happen often, but s some people think I'm not like I don't. I don't think anybody has to me, but I think like my dad has had it before, where people think that he does it for attention seeking, and it's really not. It you feel like shit after it. You feel like all your energy has been drained, and especially if you had a fit, you just 
be sick everywhere it's, it's horrible and um i've got a few like diabetic friends now who i know which i didn't have a few years ago which is cool because they understand what i'm going through but it's, it's not it's not that bad it's you, i know that there's so many other people with things that's like so much worse than this and if we had it like in the 40s we'd have to test ourselves we'd have to boil our own piss or something but it's so easy now it's got a little meter pre self it doesn't hurt by the way <laughs> unless your needle's really old but it doesn't hurt um and then i've got an insulin pump which is amazing it makes my life so much easier and you just get on with it and it's cool because there's loads of help you can get and you, your life's just normal there's it's just you know you get the old hypo which mucks your day up but that's fine because a lot of my friends like Zenobi she's my my family call her my little nurse because she always knows what to do and she's normally there if I have a hypo so she's she's amazing and yeah and all my other friends as well they they all understand and but it's difficult if you have new friends and to you it seems really simple god just give them sugar seriously what's wrong with you but <laughs> if it's new to them then they don't have a clue and that's fine it's not like they should there's loads of different conditions where you have to you know help someone they're not going to know about every condition are they about what to do so um you know, just just tell them you need sugar <laughs> and that'll be fine i think that's all on my list I wrote a list down, and I think that's it. So, um, if you're a diabetic, then leave a comment, or, you know, I'm always here to talk, and I've got, you know, hopefully I've got some good advice. I've had it since I was like 13, now I'm 17. No, it's been about 12, I don't even know. It's been, it's been a few years though. So, um, yeah, as I said, I might have some advice, so. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. I've only got two diabetes videos, but hopefully I'll have some more soon. So thank you.